Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to our Terraria Christmas Adventure Day 12. So, not long until Christmas, and I feel like I say that at the start of every one because the rush and the uh, anticipation of Christmas is getting quite high. It's really soon. But the only problem is, is I actually like the drawn outness of December. I like it to last a while. I don't like it to go quick, if I'm honest, and I feel like filming these makes it go super quick. So, you know, we're gonna have to slow things down. Well, not really. So, in the last episode, we defeated the Wall of Flesh, and I asked you guys, hey, what sort of weapons should I get? Now, the most upvoted and the most frequently requested was the Amarok, so that's the frozen yo-yo. And I was like, well, you know what? Let's try and go for that. And I went down into my ice biome, and I was having absolutely no luck trying to defeat any of these enemies, because they're all too hard. Because my character is, of course, weak anyway, because... It's a, a pre-hard mode character with bad pre-hard mode items, so I'm feeling pretty weak. So what I decided to do was, and I have some footage of this, so I'll show you my drops in a minute, but I decided to spend a little bit of time setting up an AFK farm. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, it wasn't very effective at all. I, I just kind of set it up for fun, and I'll be honest, I was having a lot of enjoyment just kind of messing around with it than I was actually uh, using it for productivity. Uh, but I'm going to show you it. And then I'll show you the little clip of uh, of getting the ice bow and the uh, and the icicle. Now, if I don't add, if I don't remember to edit that in, I do apologize. Uh, it's usually because when I edit these and I say something like this, I forget because I'll edit a few af a few hours afterwards, and I'm like, oh, what did I say there? Do you get what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm sorry. So this is it. Uh, let's go over here. So I set up this area here, so you can sit in here. It's got a blue candle. And then it's got three lava points. One here where enemies drop in. One here where enemies can walk up and across or drop down. And then a further one just down there. Now, it was pretty good. But I'll be honest with you guys. It probably wasn't the most effective thing. But actually, this is actually a really great example of it working well. So as you can see, they drop down and they still go into the lava. So will they get killed? Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> They've kind of gone off camera. So... I managed to get the icicle and the ice bow doing this. And I got them relatively quickly, to be honest. So, all good there, really. So, what we're doing today is we're doing mining together. We're going to do it on camera because I'm not very well equipped. And I thought we could kind of uh, have some fun with the struggle of that. And then it gives me time just to have a little chat and to just talk about Terraria and stuff. I'm very excited today because a new Terraria spoiler is coming out for Terraria 1.3.6 which is the next PC update. And don't worry, you can type your comment. Oh, PC's got 1.3.6, console hasn't got 1.3 yet. <laughs> I know it's coming, so don't worry. Uh, and I don't blame you for it. But uh, yeah, a new spoiler's coming out for that today, so I'm, I'm really, really excited. And I'm like, well, how do I balance uploading when a spoiler comes out? So you'll find out tonight, because I'll be covering it. I'm very, very excited to, to talk about Terraria again. Or at least Terraria news again. I haven't had a PC one. In quite a while. Okay, we're going to go down this area here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash some more demon altars. Because yesterday we didn't actually break that many. And I'm worried. Oh, look, there's, there's some popped up. I'm worried that we're not going to have much ore. And I'd rather have more ore than care about corruption spreading. Because I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really care about corruption spreading anymore. Like, after my years of playing Terraria, it just really doesn't bother me anymore. Like, I truly just don't care about it. So I'd rather have more raw than anything else. Right. One of the things I really want to do is I want to assign the nurse this room here. Because it's getting a little bit ridiculous having to, uh, to, to run over to the right to get healed. Now, I have a platinum, so that's good. So what we're going to do before we go mining is we're going to go buy the leaf wings. Which is very, very exciting because we'll be able to fly... And I also won't take any fall damage. And I think we can all agree that me not taking fall damage is a very good thing. Because as we learned in episode 4, <laughs> specifically, uh, I died a lot from fall damage. So I'm quite excited about this. So what I did was earlier, I actually went and built a, uh, a station for the witch doctor. And I told him what to do. And I can't remember the rest of the words of the witch doctor song. Never mind, it's not even Halloween. Um... But yeah, we're going to go over there and buy our leaf wings. 
So let's go. So, you know what? I'm going to use a bit of time now to talk about what I would like to uh, see with today's Terraria spoiler. And here's what I'm hoping. I am hoping it's a new feature rather than a background or a piece of furniture because the trend so far of 1.3, even though it is a small update or a big update, who knows really, but I'm leaning towards small, um, is that it's all it's it's been all about the uh, the furniture and it's kind of like, well, I'm, I'm kind of bored of seeing that. And backgrounds, although backgrounds are cool, I'm, I'm kind of bored of seeing it. Now, why aren't you... Why are you selling the leaf wings? All right, let me Google this because this ain't right. This ain't right. Let's see. Because <laughs> I'm really confused here as to why he's not selling the leaf wings. It doesn't have to be a blood moon. And he's in the jungle. Terraria leaf wings. Or maybe it's during the day. Maybe it's during the day. I don't mind googling this on camera, by the way. I'm doing it on my phone. Oh no. The Terraria wiki's gone to mess. It's just terrible at the minute. They're moving everything over to a new system and it really is just bugged out. Oh my god. Navigating this Wikipedia page. Awful. Sold by the Witch Doctor in night at hard mode in the jungle. Why? Why are you not selling it? I don't get it. It's night time. And we're in the jungle. Maybe it doesn't class this area as the jungle. That would be pretty frustrating. Because of what blocks I use, maybe? I know. Come on, we're going to get to the bottom of this. And we're going to build a different house. We're going to build one. Oh! Oh! It's because it's such a small jungle. Ah, got ya. Got ya. Okay. Well, this is going to be a big problem now because, as you can tell, there's a lot of enemies around and my character is quite weak. And I can't destroy a turtle very well. Look. Look at the damage I do to a turtle. Basically nothing. Oh, this is the only problem when you get to hard mode at night time is all these enemies. Alright, we've still got time for this. Ah, great! The witch star- Alright, okay. What well, an absolute failure. We'll do that tomorrow. Oh my god. I can't believe that. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible luck. That is genuinely terrible luck. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna grab some food. And I'm gonna grab a, uh, a regen potion. I can't believe that. That is terrible, in it? It doesn't work there, and then and then my, actual, my witch doctor gets killed. And he can't spawn back in until the night time, so... That's why that's a problem. Alright, I can't remember which ore's first or what it looks like. We'll go with this one. Is this it? Ah, Palladium. Yes, I remember now. Palladium. So we'll grab some Palladium. Palladium is a, is not a bad little tier, but I always skip it. I always skip it. And you know what? I'm a little bit of a Terraria elitist. I like Cobalt. Because Cobalt was first, and then they added variants, and I, and I always kind of thought, what's the point of adding variants? But then they all have special effects, don't they? And Titanium is clearly better now. But, uh, yeah, every time I get Palladium, I'm like, well, oh, I wish it was Cobalt, and I wish that the other one was, uh, Mithril. Because, I, I don't know, blue, green, and red just seem awesome to me. Final tier being red, Adabantite. So cool. It sounds like the thing from, uh, from Wolverine, or the X-Men series. What's he covered in? Is he covered in Adamantite? Or Adamantium? I don't know. I haven't seen the X-Men films in a long time. They're very good, though. Did you guys see the, uh, the Wolverine this year? I came out this year. That was a really good film. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That was a good one. I was always a big fan of X-Men as a kid. Only the films. I've never read a comic in my life. Uh, but the films were really good, in my opinion, when I was a kid. I loved them, honestly. One, two, and three. So good. So good. But then again, I loved the Spider-Man films a lot more, though. So, I don't know. I was never a big superhero kind of kid, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, Spider-Man was my favorite. But I think that's because I liked the game a hell of a lot. And that kind of influenced it for me. The game was so good, and it was so free, and... I don't know, it was a bit like GTA before its time in the sense of, like, you could explore a giant city freely, you know, with ease. You know, obviously, over time, Grand Theft Auto became the game of, like, well, you can explore a whole city in a jet, and you can do it in the, all these amazing fashions. But that's what it felt like for me when a kid. When I was a kid. There we go. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, so, Palladium aside, I actually do have some cool things to, to mention. Tomorrow, so, you're watching this on the 12th. On the 13th, I think I'm getting my braces removed. So, I don't know how I'm going to sound in all honesty. 
uh, because I've had them on for three and a half years, and when I got them on, it did change the way I had to uh, to pronunciate some of my words because it makes your lips move in a different way. Because obviously the metal pushes your lips forward ever so slightly, and it does create a little bit of a lisp that a lot of my friends kind of mocked me for. Not gonna lie. But yeah, they come off tomorrow and I'm quite excited. The only reason I say maybe is because I'm not sure if they're actually coming off tomorrow or in six weeks. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. So that is big news for me. And it'll be big news for you because you will notice a difference. You will, hopefully, in my smile. <laughs> Which you'll all be able to see quite soon because it will be live on the Yorkscast on the 18th of December. And I'm very, very excited about that. I actually got way too much palladium. It makes me want to move over to the... Uh, that's terrible. What a terrible pickaxe. I almost want to... Oh, no, that's fine, actually. It's only got reduced damage. I was going to say, it almost makes me want to just leave it and make a new one or do something else. I will grab some more... I will grab some more Palladium. I'll grab it from here. Because it almost makes me want to move to the Ranger set for Palladium so that I can use the Ice Bow a little bit more effectively. Because the Ice Bow is great, and I have got Archery Potions, and I've also got that Archery Emblem, which I'm sure you guys saw me swap over earlier. So yes, I am pretty equipped for it. I'll tell you what, I love having a giant elevator. Okay. Whoa, over here we go. Whoa. All right, okay, this is all good. Do you know what? This is what makes me right. <laughs> this is really irrelevant, but this when I said elevator, then do you know what it reminds me of? The fact that like people like Eminem and some of the YouTubers have elevators in their houses. What a luxury. Like, <laughs> the luxury of not having to use stairs in a house. Just, it kind of baffles me a little bit. You know, it's weird how the other half live. I love Eminem. What a fantastic uh, artist or whatever. He's got a new album coming out this month. So that's cool. But I just think, wow, having an elevator in your house, that blows my mind. I grew up in a council flat, one that was quite tall for a little while. And I didn't even have an elevator to go to the top floor. <laughs> you just had to walk up. So the fact that people have elevators in their house really does blow my mind a little bit. What a what a weird luxury. I'm sure most of you don't have an elevator in your house. Maybe you do. Maybe there are people watching with elevators in their houses and they're like, yeah, dude, it's cool. <laughs> a mobility elevator, maybe. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Right. Okay, Mithril is going well. Mithril is mid-tier. I always skip Mithril. Honestly, the three tiers of a... Uh, of ore are honestly just so boring to mine, I find. Oh, the wizard! Hello! Okay, I don't need anything off you now. I'm going to leave you, though, so you survive. Because he should survive. And I'm going to take another mining. Ah, more mithril. Great. Yeah, so me and Python talk about this a lot, where they should just kind of limit the amount of mithril and stuff that you have to do. The amount of grinding you have to do when you enter hard mode can be a little bit annoying, but... I feel like I've really struck a balance with mine. Like, I feel like if you get equipped with the right potions and just go at it, you know, you can find all the ores you need in, like, 20 minutes. And that's why I'm doing it today, because it's a nice chunk of an episode. You know, and you, you get the time to chat, and I like that in episodes. I like chatting. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. you like, give me more boss fights. I don't want the chat. I don't want the patter. <laughs> but I give it anyway. Ah, <sighs> right. Okay. Well, this is, this is the part that's going to take a while. So what I might do is I might uh, speed up this next section. And you know what? I feel like I want to do some more Christmas music because I've got a few Christmas songs that I can use this year. And I kind of want to, you know, flex my licensing a little bit and show them off. So I'm going to do some Christmas music and some mining because we've had a nice little chat. I've explained my situation about elevators and my braces. And that's about it. Okay. See you, uh... Ah, God! Oh, these, these are not as uh, mental. Alright, see you after the speed up, guys.
Okay, so all my potions have run out, so let's see how much titanium we've got. Uh, probably not all that much, to be honest. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's not very common in our world today. I'm getting a little bit unlucky. Uh, but let's see. I think you... I don't know if you make the bars... Alright, okay, you don't. So you do this, make this, that takes away 30 pieces already, and then it's 5 per bar. So I'm gonna make, like, what? Yeah, 47 bars. Uh, you know what? I'm kinda close. I'm kind of close. I don't need that much more, to be honest, to get everything I need. I just want a full set of, uh, of armor. So, it's only a little bit more. So, let's see. Can I make another Spelunker potion? I don't know if I, if I can. Or maybe, if I had another piece of ore, maybe I could. Let's see. We might get lucky here. I might have all the ingredients that I need, but I'm presuming no. Oh, I could just do this. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, we'll grab one of those. So we only have four more minutes remaining of that. So let's go and do that t together, guys. And we'll see what we can get. So let's jump down, take a spelunker, and then keep your eyes peeled, everyone, for titanium. All right? You can do it. <laughs> You'll be able to spot it better than I will. I'm terrible at this kind of thing. Is that... No? Okay. Never mind. Remember, don't get slaughtered on the way down. Let's try and... Let's try and check out this level over here, near where the wizard is. Is there any over there? Presumably no. Let's get on this. Let's look around a bit. It's so nice to be able to play in 1080p. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, I almost... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking for titanium. Oh my god, I was gonna say, it's so nice being able to play in 1080p because you can see more. And then look at me, just absolutely avoiding everything in front of me that I'm meant to see. Moron, Chippy. Okay. Let's head through here. It's a little bit zoomed out. I don't want to keep it too zoomed out because I like Terraria videos that are more zoomed in. I mean, you know, they tell you on YouTube, oh, make videos you would like to see. I'm personally of the belief that zoomed out Terraria videos do my head in, right? I just think they don't look good when they're zoomed out like this. But we're gonna do it for a little bit because I want my titanium and I don't want to spend forever mining. And then one of the things I really wanted to get done today, but I don't think it's gonna be possible, and I tried to get this to happen, is I wanted to do the Frost Legion today with all of our new stuff. But the only problem is, is the snow globe is actually a random drop from enemies and I just didn't seem to get one today. That's part of the reason why I set up the AFK farm because I was kind of like, well, if I get the chance to, then I can get Santa tomorrow in tomorrow's episode, and then you can make a big deal out of it. But I guess that's not the case. I guess it will be a tomorrow kind of deal. Unfortunately, I did want it to be today. Hmm. Alright, I, I think it's time to go up now. See if I can find some. There's a little bit over there, but you know what? I'll take any any part I can, and I'll take that. I never know the, how to pronounce these. Geysers? Geysers? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, let's go over here. Let's grab this titanium. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. There's a little bit above us as well. Just up to the top right. So we'll take that. How many pieces is that? That's like two bars worth. So almost three bars worth. And we need like 12. So we can keep a little bit of a tally. If I can remember. Probably won't be able to. But we'll see. That'd be pretty handy. Yeah, I don't think I uh, I broke enough uh, demon altars in my in this world compared to my spirit mod world. In my spirit mod world, getting titanium or whatever or whatever one it was, it may have been adamantite was easy. It was very very easy. You just mined it very quickly because there was abundance of it, an absolute abundance of it. Okay, let's grab this part and let's go up. I'm still kind of getting over the elevator thing. <laughs> I don't know why it just blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind, this elevator thing. <laughs> the people have elevators in the houses. It's crazy. You know, that's what we're building towards, guys. We're building towards my house getting an elevator. Am I right? <laughs> oh, look, Python's playing Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> look, he forgot to turn off his notifications. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Poor Python. He plays a lot of that Ark Survival Evolved. I can't stand the game, in all honesty. I just don't think it looks that good. I think graphics-wise, it's just really a... I don't know, it's really a... 
really appalling to me. I don't think I can kind of buy into the, the dinosaur genre, which is really, really popular, admittedly. But, I, I don't know. You know, you know, games suit different people, don't they? And I imagine some of you really like it. And I imagine some of you just really don't like it. I don't know. I don't like early access games or early access looking games. And I don't like games that look like that, if I'm honest. But the dinosaur genre is a huge thing on YouTube, or at least it was. I mean, people with uh, Jurassic Park channels have been very, very successful this year, and good for them, you know. That's not something I want to pursue, because I don't like uh, dinosaur culture in general. But yeah, dinosaur games, man. There's one really great dinosaur game called uh, Jurassic Park Project... Oh, what's it called? Basically, it's a game where you create your own Jas uh, Jurassic Park theme park. They made a mobile spin-off, and it was pretty uh, pretty bad, because it was obviously filled with like microtransactions and stuff. But there used to be one. It might have been called Project Genesis. That might have been it. But I played it when I was a kid, and oh my god, I love that game. You, uh, I played it on PlayStation 2 when I was younger, and I played it until my disc broke. And it was like one of the only games where I could get my sister to play along. My sister's a, a few years older than me. And she just isn't interested in games in the slightest. Uh, but Jurassic Park Evolved, or whatever, Project Evolved or whatever, she was really, really into that. That was like a, that was like one of the games she could go to, so, you know, special place for that game. Even though I can't actually remember the name. Okay, that might be enough, you know. That might just be enough. There's four little pieces here, and I'll grab that, because that is technically a bar at the end of the day, if you get one more piece. So, it does bring us a little bit closer, and then... I think it's time to call a day on it here because we're at the end of the world, so we'll go back and we'll see. It should, it honestly should be enough to make the full set. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to make melee because I want to go to the yo-yo uh, eventually. So I'm going to make a full set of melee. So melee damage mask, chest plate, leggings, one, two, three, looking awesome. And then now, this thing does 58 melee damage, so it's a lot stronger because of all the uh, additional benefits. So that's really, really cool. Right, well, I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we're actually going to do the uh, Snow Legion and get Santa Claus. And then we can start working on some more Christmas builds, because I feel like Santa opens up a lot of uh, pathways, because you get Christmas lights, trees... Uh, you can now get the decorator who sells whatever. What is it the painter? Does the painter sell... Do you sell wallpaper? Do you sell wallpaper? Yeah, there you go. Festive wallpaper. Yeah, this is it. This is the good stuff. Honestly, this stuff is ace. You can do some really great Christmas designs with that. Right. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.